Dogs and wolves are closely related, but their differences define them. Wolves remain wild creatures. They hunt and eat in packs, and generally stay away from humans. But dogs can read a person's face and tone of voice. They are curious, social, and unafraid of humans. New genetic research highlights another crucial distinction between wolves and dogs, their diets. While wolves are exclusively carnivores, dogs can digest starches. This evolutionary change may be one of the critical steps that brought dogs out of the wilderness and into our homes. So dogs eat a very different diet than wolves. Wolves are carnivores and dogs eat almost anything. Uh, and this could have a lot to do with dog domestication. Uh, we can speculate that dogs domesticated themselves by coming and starting to eat from the scrap heaps left um, by humans as we got to start agriculture. In a paper published this week in Nature, Sharsten Limblateau and her colleagues described the results of looking across the full genomes of dogs and wolves to pinpoint regions that separate the two species. The researchers used two approaches to find telltale signs of evolution, narrowing in on regions that likely represent targets of selection during dog domestication. Many of these regions harbor genes that play key roles in the digestion of starches. Limblateau and her colleagues put these genes to the test, determining that these genes contribute to a more efficient breakdown of complex starches in dogs. So there are three steps in sugar metabolism. Starch, as you eat it, is first broken down by amylase and then by maltase, and after that the sugar is absorbed through the wall of the gut. We see very clearly in the dog's genome that all three steps have been affected by selection so that starch metabolism can happen much more effectively in the dog than in the wolf. The ability to thrive on a starch-rich diet may have helped dogs fill a new niche. As human beings transitioned from a nomadic lifestyle to one based around agriculture and settlements, dogs may have been drawn to scrap heaps where humans threw out their garbage. Animals that could scavenge these piles may have had a unique advantage over others an advantage that would have drawn them into close contact with people. So we see this striking path of parallel evolution between dogs and people. When the agricultural revolution started, one of the major adaptive needs for both dogs and humans may have been to eat more starch. In addition to giving us a deeper understanding of our intertwined history with canines, the new work also has important implications for studying human disease. Many dog breeds get the same kinds of diseases that humans do, including diabetes. So learning about dogs and their history is of course a lot of fun and it shows how dogs are a couple to people. Um, but what's really important is that the genetic changes in the dog's genome are amplified so that we can find them crisp and clear. And many of these variants that we are finding, many of the changes, can have a big impact on health in dogs, but also on human health and help us understand human disease.